Hello and welcome. Today we've got Sandy Glaze and we're going to be discussing the energy in the cosmic and, you know, she says it's time to step up our game now. Now, just before you, we begin, we can, uh, you can subscribe to my Telegram channel and to nicholasveniarmin.com and I will also leave Sandy's links below in the description so you can also follow her as well now if you're watching this for the first time on youtube i will leave the link below in the description for the full interview if we behave ourselves appropriately and we can you know we can keep this video on youtube because we know what they're like with censorship um sandy thank you so much for joining me um where do we begin it's nice to be here again. It's nice to see you. So many interesting things are happening right now. And um, I, I can't just explain how I feel like I'm in just in the Zen mode, right in where I need to be watching what's going on and why this is so important. When I look at what's happening with all the galactic activity, not the galactic, the cosmic activity with the planets, certain planets are going into retrograde this summer. We have a solar eclipse coming up tomorrow. So the timing is absolutely amazing for us to be talking about this. The solar eclipse is coming up in Gemini, which is communication, and we're getting a new moon tomorrow. And sometimes people are under the impression that we're supposed to create on a full moon. We're not. We're supposed to plant our seeds on the new moon because that's right. where it starts to expand and get a little fuller. So your timing with this is fantastic. So a lot of things have been happening, and um, I'm open I'm open for explanations uh, for, for whatever's going on. And I'm gonna just start with a bit of a segue into what as people have been telling me is happening. I, uh, the one day I was getting ready and I thought I was gonna fall over. Like I'm losing my balance. And I'm like, I'm not old enough to lose my balance. Like I didn't know what was going on. And then it was either later that day or the next day I came in and when I came in the garage, I went to take my shoes off and I fell against the garage door. And I'm like, what is going on? So I'm always curious about what is happening and why that is a benefit for me because I never know what I'm going to learn. So I start sharing this with different people and a client of mine goes, we heard energy come whoosh right between us the one day in our apartment. So then I'm telling another client about this and she looks at me and she goes, I was walking from my house to my garden and I did a full frontal face plant. I fell down. So I'm wondering if Gaia and the earth energies are starting to shake up a little bit, but we're not quite sensing it. Does this make sense that things are starting to happen in the, in the cosmos? The earth energies are changing, the human resonance is changing. I don't think this 3D to 5D is gonna be, oh, we're all love and light. I think we are go we're in for a storm and it's gonna be this summer where a lot of the earth energies are gonna change. Have you ever witnessed uh, or been part of um, an earthquake and you watch your walls all of a sudden start to move? Have you had that happen? Never, not here in the UK. You think just for a second, am I losing it? And there was an earthquake, it was a number of years ago, I think it was in Quebec, and we felt the after effect here, but the walls started shimmying. Look at all the earthquakes were happening, like who knows what's going on? But what I'm trying to say is there's such a, um, I think there's bigger events that are happening planetarily that are gonna shape what's gonna happen this summer. So that's what I wanna bring attention to, right? So this is where we have a chance to step into our power because all of this is gonna get shaken up. So I'm just going to go through and name what's happening. Pluto goes uh, went into retrograde April 28th, which means it goes backwards. We get a chance to redo everything again. That's what retrograde means. Imagine it like an oval shape where we go back and then we get to redo and come out again. So it, it ends October uh, 5th. Saturn went into retrograde May 24th. It comes out of retrograde October 10th. Uh, we had a lunar eclipse and a full moon on May 28th. Mercury went into retrograde May 30th, and it comes out, um, I think it comes out in about three weeks, and it goes back in in September. Then we have the solar eclipse, new moon tomorrow. Jupiter goes in retrograde June 21st, comes out October 17th. June, uh, the equinox is June 21st. Neptune goes into retrograde June 26th and comes out November 30th. Uranus goes into retrograde August 25th. I can't remember when it comes out. And Venus goes in December 20th to January 29th. So all of these planets are your big movers and shakers. They're the system. They don't like conventionality. They don't like the abuses that are happening. They want to come in with new energies, let the old structures fall. I can't for a minute not think that the powers that be, the people we have faith in, don't know this. I think it's just the average person who's not aware of how the planets affect us. So I think that's why they're waiting for this summer for things to happen. 
So mm -hmm. we're going to have to be on our game, on our toes, have a sense of humor as all this unfolds, right? So why, why does this matter? Because things are going to be changing whether we're ready for this or not. And I really hope that people have taken time to look at what you want in your life, what doesn't work in your life, what you want to experience in your life, what do you want the future to look like? And I know people are really focused on, um, if you look at the hierarchical structure at what's happening maybe at the top, it's irrelevant. That's going to be part of it. But also part of it is going to be what all of us do the whole way through this. And I've been having, um, I don't know, I just woke up one morning and I thought, why do I think everything in between is a mess? If they're going to come out and make the changes they are, chances are they already have a curriculum ready to go for the new education system that's coming in. Does that make sense? Like they're not just going to all of a sudden change things, what we call in the higher echelons of what we perceive as power and leave the rest of us to flounder and figure this out. I, you know, I just started realizing maybe I need to have a little more faith in what's going on in the system, but how can we all add our, um, our intentions and our input to help create mm -hmm. a better, a, be, a better structure. So this is a great time to, to know that what you want in this world, what you want to experience for yourself. How to, how to have more faith in yourself, how to trust yourself more, how to know that you're deserving. Yes. What is good in life? Because so many people, you know, I, I wrote up a little blurb this morning on betrayal. And what a lot of what we're experiencing is extreme betrayal from what's been happening. And it doesn't matter if betrayal happens in your birth family, if it happens in your community, if it happens through government, uh, toward the, the citizens or the, the, the people. It doesn't matter where it happens, it hurts. And I was uh, reading um, uh, William Cooper's book, uh, Beyond the Pale Horse. And I, you know, I'm great for picking up a book and I get so far and then I put it down and pick up another book. And then, so I happened to pick it up yesterday and I was reading the letters that he had posted in that book regarding uh, the FEMA camps that were maybe uh, being set up. And what was interesting was the absolute arrogance of those people in that particular faction of the military who said, you're a civilian, you don't have a say in this, but we're the taxpayers funding this. So why I'm bringing that up is I think we have to realize the extent that this system needs to fall away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. So. Um, th this is going to happen when obviously the, you know, the consciousness on the earth increases. Now, when we speak about planets and, the, you know, that earth is going through a change in the universe and, you know, things are happening energetically or scientifically or physically, you know, it, th is it, does it mean that certain gases and frequencies and vibrations are being generated and is affecting earth where it will increase our consciousness? I, I believe it is, and I believe what's happening with the Schumann resonance as it is increasing, our frequencies are increasing. So there was, um, I don't know, one night I, I wake up and I thought I watched this video and it, the, in the video, it showed me how to use my conscious energy and go in and do things with my spine and my back. And when I woke up, I thought, where's that video? I would have saved that video. It was fantastic. And I looked through all my YouTube history and it's like, it's not there. And I realized it was a download. Right, right. It's coming in. I'm thinking back to a time a couple of years ago, this fellow I know, he's South American, but he's also very in tune with higher consciousness. And his wife had to go and get a tooth. She thought she had to get it pulled because it was so badly infected. He went in, he said, and did psychic surgery on her tooth and saved her tooth. She came home and said the dentist said it was fine. He's telling me and a friend, a friend of a mutual friend, this story, and he's crying because he can't believe he can do this. So while we're sitting here and watching, okay, what's going to happen with the, with the boats and what's going to happen with certain leaders and whatever, like we're missing our boat of how powerful we are that we can create with our conscious mind. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what I think the biggest part of what we're missing and as these earth energies change and start shaking us up a little bit, I think people are going to, um, I think they're going to be on their knees. Some of them thinking there's something cataclysmic that's happening. It's not just going to be awakening. When I said the one, one person told me that there was a whoosh energy that came through her apartment, I'm explaining this to another client. She goes, we just felt that in the hangar. Like they have a, a business where she felt it. And I'm like, so is there other dimensions that are coming through and getting really close to us? Are we going to, you know, the veil going to lift and we're not going to be able to handle what we see or timelines going to converge? I honestly don't know what's going to happen, but all of this is designed to wake us up. I don't think 
I could be wrong, and this is just my opinion. I'm not of the opinion that we all came back for this crap show where um, they want to kill us all and we don't want to get killed and this is as good as it's going to get and we're going to try to get to our hearts. I think this is going to be bigger on the consciousness scale and what we can do with our own energy. I think there's going to be a massive awakening that people, some are going to be able to handle and some people, if we're not open to it, they're not even going to know what's coming. Yeah. So, Right. Some people just posted recently on uh, on her Facebook post. She goes, I don't care what anybody thinks of me. She goes, there was a blackbird on my railing. And she goes, and it flew off and it disappeared. Like it didn't disappear. It flew off like just a few feet away and disappeared. So wow. What are, what are dimensions? What are timelines? And, and we, so what are we open to? Do you know what, you know, are we open to our being our best self and bringing as many of our abilities online as possible? This is what I think they really don't want us waking up to. And we know there's issues that are happening that aren't, uh, aren't pleasant. People are sending me pictures of coins sticking to them all over. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, that's kind of cute, but not really. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do to get that out of your body? If, if you've got metals in your body, what are you going to do about that? And I think there's enough people out here who are looking toward creating a better society, one that works for all the people who want a better society. You know, we mm -hmm. don't want to interfere with free will. But what, what I think is happening is this consciousness is coming on, whether we're ready for it or not. And there's times I'll be out back and I think there's a veil like four feet in front of me. It almost... You know, when you see a shimmer on a highway, like a hot, hot um, asphalt in the distance and you see a shimmer. That's right. Yeah. It's kind of like that. That's what I see. And I think what's on the other side of that. Mm. I'm not saying I'm the most courageous person I know. I, if I want to go there, I will. But I'm like, I'm going to still wait and just observe. It's not time for me to do that. But we also know that all of our senses are so important and we are being so manipulated right now even on more levels so where i go for a walk usually daily and there's some shade and trails in the in the park where i go and there's some open meadows which maybe you walk for like seven to ten minutes and you're in the direct sun and it's been a hot week here and it says it's 31 degrees celsius so that's like 85. i'm walking through the sun for 10 minutes and i'm not breaking a sweat <laughs> and i like the sun but so here's the thing that's happening right so my thermostat went so I had somebody come in and fix the thermostat. And I, you know, I, I try to I try to question a little bit and ask a few questions and just see where people are at. I don't dive right in and share everything I know because they'll think you're crazy if they're not awake, right? And, and so the, I could see they were awake to a lot of what I was, just ideas I was sharing. So we made a comment about how hot it was and he was trying to fix this thermostat. And I said something about, you want paranoid. I said, what if they're manipulating the weather to make us think it's hotter because everything's a perception, an illusion, a delusion. But it really isn't. We're going towards the solar minimum and the pole, pole flip. And the one guy looks at me and he goes, that makes more sense than anything I've heard yet. Hmm. So yeah. how is important is it that we, we stay in our senses, all our senses and centered in our body right now and observe what's going on in us and around us and see what's happening, right? So that's what I see. Well, it's very important because those senses that you're talking about is um, is is your gut feeling, your pineal gland, or your intuition, or your soul, whichever you want to call it, or your source, you know, the, you know, from source. So, you know, it's very important to be in tune with that. And, th and the more we are, we are more in tune with that, um, we build a stronger relationship with our gut oh, feeling. Yeah. And we get to tap into certain things that we couldn't tap into before. So do you think that, you know, people will naturally start asking questions with what's going on and the inconsistencies in our situations now that naturally, you know, consciousness maybe may raise to the point they might just find themselves asking questions that they would never ask before? I am not of that mind, but it doesn't mean I'm right. I think there's some people who've just doubled down and they're not changing their mind and they don't care. And I still think there's, um, you were talking to Betty this week, what does she call it? Non-player characters. So we were talking a bit about this last night and we came up, we don't know whether they're clones, CGI, walk-ins, sociopaths, psychopaths, but when I'm reading this um, um, part of the chapter of William Cooper's book and they like, who do you think you are? You're just a civilian. The absolute narcissism of these people, they're not gonna change. Mm. 
And so what's going to happen with them? I don't get to say, and, and who knows what's going to happen. Maybe they've, maybe it's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy and they follow the rule of the medical procedure that everybody's getting, or many people are getting, and it's going to be a natural culling, if you want to call it that, of, um, of that kind of a heart set or a mindset, because th this is the betrayal that's these people, they have no interest in getting, if they can't find their heart now, or they only love themselves and their, their direct family, they're not gonna, I don't see them well, getting it. Well, those people that you're dis uh, speaking about, are they, I consider them to be exceptional because they're, they're, they're just, I don't see them changing, but, but the, the most important is that the world changes because there's more of us than they are and i i think in my opinion and i could be wrong um that there will be some kind of people who um were asleep who are slowly going to start asking questions but yes um there, there would definitely be um those those who are just going to stay asleep and they they're going to be the my they, they will be the minority and you know it's not a good way, you know, they, 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 there's going to be people that just want to accept, the, you know, the truth, us going forward, the new world. But, you know, hopefully w when Mr. T makes a return um, and, you know, I think the reveal is going to happen much quicker and we're going to see more oh, people so put this... away. And, and also, I think that we are going to see I really hope that we are going to see the collapse of the Federal Reserve and uh, many people will wake up and find their debts cleared. And this is only because the Federal Reserve and the dollar is the world's reserve currency. And if, if that goes down, th that's it. You know, everything goes down. And, then, and Mr. T needs to file a full audit if he hasn't done so already. And, and, it, and it, would, it would just reset or clear out um, you know, due to banking, um, you know, you know, criminal banking activities. So, um, so it's a bit like, you know, you buy a car from someone and you have a contract and you pay a small deposit and you pay every month, but you've got the car. And then later on, you find out that the person that sold you the car is, um, a fraud it, or, or he's illegit illegitimate, um, or, or he's a criminal. And, um, you know, if you have them tried, then you, you don't have you don't pay the money and you keep the car, you know, you don't give the car back to them if they're already, you know. So this is the same thing. All the contracts become null and void because of banking facilities. So all the loans will be void, basically. I think it has to go deeper than that. And um, so there's a lot of fraud. And I want to watch how I say this because it's not we don't need to add more fire to freak people out. I do believe they're going to have a deeper plan for all of that. Um, you also look at what's going on in the markets. The markets, there's no way that the economy is bo booming right now. Like It's all lies about what the stock market is. So if the, if the Federal Reserve goes down, do the investments go down? And this is where we really need to reassure the seniors that, no, you're going to be okay. Because they've been taught since the 80s that you're not going to have enough money for retirement. So they've got a certain fear put into them that they're not going to have enough money. How are they going to pay their bills? It's really important when all these changes come in that it's like, hang on, there's a plan for this. And one, this person's going to explain this aspect of it. This person will explain the debt reduction. This person will explain going back to whatever the, if it's a gold standard, this person's going to explain how we're going to substitute the stock market for this asset or who knows. We've got to, we've got to be able to mutual funds the whole the whole gauntlet so we can't have more fear and yes i understand that the negative the one percent probably own 50 percent of the stock market but that doesn't matter the other group of people who still are in that market we're going to need some sort of reassurance it's you can't come in and pull the rug out of every from under everybody who's got investments too so there's more going on with that and what you had said about people waking up when you look at astrology there's there's three types of signs there's a cardinal sign which is a leader that's aries Cancer, Sagittarius, I think, and Capricorn. There's a muted sign, which is, I think, Taurus. I can't remember all the signs. And then there's fixed signs. So you got a cardinal sign who's a leader. You got a fixed sign. You'd want a fixed sign to have your back because they're going to be very dedicated to doing something. They maybe aren't going to lead, but they're going to follow through and have the tenacity. You're going to have some who are muted signs. You're going to have some who are just going to go with the flow. They don't care. So even when the changes come, you're going to have some people who go, okay, 
and go with the change and don't really care, even though the world is going to be better, they're just going to go along. They aren't going to have, I don't think they're going to have the um, capacity to have the awareness to care. Some people just don't care, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be the ones who check out when all this goes on. Mm -hmm, Maybe mm -hmm. they didn't get the job because they don't care. I'm like, who, I don't, I, I don't see it. I don't see this as cut and dry. I, I think we're going to see a divide for sure, but I don't know who's going to be on what side of the divide. And I like what you talked about, higher consciousness, your pineal gland, your gut feeling, your intuition. All of us are so unique. And I remember going for a walk one day and I was sharing my opinion with some, some guy walking with me. And um, I made a comment about what's the difference between intuition and gut instinct. And I go, well, where's your intuition? And he goes, in here, and he points to his stomach. And I said, that's kind of interesting. I would have thought your intuition was on your third eye. Like it would have been a, a knowing instead of a feeling, right? And he goes, oh, I had cancer in my pineal gland. They took it out. So his body adjusted. His body adjusted. So he's still, is still. so what? He's using a different method of coming up to knowing how to trust himself. What's it matter? It works for him. So mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a lot of things that we don't, that aren't going to really fall into a category. Mm -hmm. Do I think T is coming back? Oh, yeah. When uh, I, I haven't verified this, but my understanding when he was in North Carolina on Friday, he was uh, the Republican convention. He came out at one point and they're showing he had his pants, his trousers on backward. So they showed the creases at the front and he just stood there in his suit jacket. And suit jacket was long enough. I'm so grateful for the people who analyze this. I didn't pick this out myself, but he's telling us it's all backward. Still telling us that, right? So he's still communicating. And it's to the point now, I'm glad we don't know what's going on because if we know, then the bad guys know, mm -hmm. whoever they are. But we are to the point, though, that instead of um, just waiting, standing in a, an air of waiting, let's go into an air of willing. And what are we willing to do? What are we willing to say we won't tolerate this anymore? The idea that um, this um, William Cooper also said something about the police, that the police are being targeted. If you don't go along and you want to be a policeman, you're going to be targeted. Oh, really? So name a system that is not corrupt. A medical system is corrupt. And, and then they have their colleges of physicians and surgeons. I don't know what they have in the different countries, but then they will pull your license if you don't play the game. The mm -hmm, whole thing mm -hmm. needs to fall. So we do need some reassurances because if everybody thinks they're bankrupt and don't have any money to pay the bills or what have you, when I say bills, it could be grocery bills. It could be things they want, right? But the Absolutely. system is so baked right now. So I needed a thermostat. It was 31 in here, which is 85 degrees. So it said, and I wasn't, like I said, I'm not sure if the, if everything is skewed together. How's this for paranoid? So I look at my phone last winter and I look at my local uh, weather and it says it's gonna stop snowing in 22 minutes. And I'm like, how do you know? It's going to stop snowing in 22 minutes. Yeah. Uh, they've, they've, I don't know. I mean, they've obviously got harps and instruments that control the weather as you know we both know and the viewers know. But they control everything. Everything's a simulation and everything's a lie. I was speaking to one everything. of my friends and we were, I was saying, can you think of something that they haven't touched that is actually the truth? And then yeah. someone said to me, yeah, the Bible. And I said, okay. I said, no, really? That, that's, that's, a coincidence. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's no coincidence. That's been <laughs> you know? touched totally. Everything's been touched. Everything. I mean, I mean, look, let's just say the Bible wasn't touched. Why is it roaming around on the app store if I can't even have a video on YouTube and to and speak freely? <laughs> the truth is silenced. And that's a pretty it's a strong indication, but it's not the only indication that something is going wrong. And that's why I'm saying that, like, I'm going for a walk and I'm feeling my skin and I'm not burning. And it's supposed to be 80, 85 degrees because I was debating whether I would take different routes and just stay in the shade as much as possible is what I was debating. And I'm walking. I go, There's no way. So then so other times I will be hot in the house when I don't think it should be. People out this this week in my neighborhood didn't have their air conditioning on until the weekend. And I'm like, but there's no way that it's 80, like 31 degrees, 85 degrees in here. And nobody has their air conditioning on. Like you don't hear the conditioners in the backyard. So this is why we trust ourselves more and more because more lies are going to come out in the, in the meantime. And this is where we get a chance to, to, to say, no, we're not, I'm not being distracted by this. And this is a chance where we can go in with this a mercury retrograde because mercury, mercury, mercury sits in the zodiac of Gemini. So this Mercury retrograde is in its house. It's in its, it's, 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 the planet is in its zodiac. So this is going to be a really strong one for us standing up for what we want, what we will tolerate, 
what we um, no longer serves us. If you haven't called in the people you want to work with yet, call it in. Start speaking to your prime creator. Speak to that higher consciousness that we all know is there. Doesn't matter what you call it. Like, like you, you know, it doesn't matter if it's God, Source, Prime Creator. It's all the same. Allah. It's all the same. Mm -hmm energy right it's just that we've all been divided to look at things in such a different term but uh so when we're talking about what we're going to do what are you going to do this summer what's what seeds do you want to sow what do you want to experience do you want to experience that you have more people come on your show do you want to experience that you go on the road and it's no right or wrong i don't mean just you i mean everybody what do you what do you want to experience do you want more love in your life do you want more happiness more joy do you want to have more security because like i know where we are right now there's no room for fear on this ride Mm -hmm. go for what you want it's what this is all about right so absolutely so that's what i'm seeing is looking for deeper meaning of what's happening right with um what what careers do we want what do we want careers and do we want them in astrology do we want them in numerology dematria do we want them in art dance bringing more awareness in so for me i want to know the truth i honestly don't care what the truth is and I know Betty and I do a lot of, we, we do a show together on Friday mornings, right? And we just talk about different concepts that are out there and we just challenge it. Like, you know, what's worship? Why do we worship? Who, who's worthy of worship? We'll do someone forgive and forget. And our basic understanding of that is we're not God and we don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> we're not forgiving you. We're not forgiving you. You take responsibility. It's your soul's responsibility to take responsibility for what you've done that's wrong. Mm -hmm. so we're trying to really challenge some paradigms and some of the old thinking, some of the old programs of, of what this looks like. But what do we want the world to look like? You know, what do we want? Um, I would love nothing more than to find out what the truth is. And I know they're going to lie. The first couple of rounds are probably not going to be the truth. They're going to they've got a few more rounds of um, um, corrupt ammo in their arsenal. Once you figure out one psychopath, it's an energy they share. It's a mindset. It's a sense of entitlement. You figure out one psychopath, you start to see how gaslighting works. Mm. You start to see how triangulation works. You start to see how favoritism works, like nepotism and all those kind of things. You start to see how, why they worship some people, not others. And you start to realize that there's something they've either done really bad or they're bribing people. Mm -hmm. You start to see, you start to see certain patterns in, in uh, I call it psychopathy. This is the, the war of good and evil. And all the planetary alignment is doing is shaking everything up. And like I said, I can't for a minute think that the good guys aren't using astrology to plan for when they were going to do this. They might not have seen what was going to happen. I don't know how they didn't. I don't know how they missed January 6th because it was all over Twitter that the uh, Antifa was going to come in with all the Trump regalia backward. Like it was all like, and if I can see this on Twitter, like any, you'd think anybody would have been able to see that on Twitter. Do you know what so I mean? let's, let's speak about that map you showed me that sure. you want to go through. So this is something in the meantime, while things are going on, when we start looking at what's going on in the earth energies, maybe that's what somebody wants to create a career in, understanding how the ley lines work and what is being put on the ley lines. And I know I've shown you this one before. Let's see if I can put a board behind it to make it hold it up. So this is, these are the Great Lakes in Canada, Ontario, Canada, and they touch on different states. Um, so New York, Michigan, I think are the two basically that they touch on. I can't remember if there's another one in there. So what this uh, Fibonacci sequence is, is where they, um, the immigration minister said he was gonna bring immigrants into 11 cities in Canada. And these are the five cities. So I think it starts in Sudbury, goes to Sault Ste. Marie, over to North Bay. I, then I think up to Timmins and then over to Thunder Bay. Then it comes into the United States, into Duluth, and it comes down to Chicago. Then it goes to Detroit, and then it comes right back up. This is what I call pedophile alley through Toronto and up to Ottawa. So I watch this, and I know there's something in here. And I'm okay to say I don't know what the answer is, but I know something's up. So I was watching a young woman speak, Riz Flex, and she was talking about what went on in Chicago. And she was saying that in Chicago, there was a, a priest there that was um, put in place by the Pope at a private school. 15 children had come out and said they were sexually abused by him, but they no punishment and they just shuffled him around. Then she started looking to see who this person knew. He knew a woman that went to school with HRC. And do you know what I mean? And all of a sudden you start realizing, are they putting evil all along this Fibonacci sequence because they're charging the earth energies in a negative way? 
I find this fascinating. And then we come down here to the Finger Lakes and we know whose tattoo was, um, the, this tattoo was on a certain person's back. And there's, a, there's one video that says that there's a submarine tunnel that comes from the Finger Lakes up to Lake Ontario. Mm -hmm. So why is this so important? This is so important because when you get to Trenton, there's Highway 33, that's where Colonel Russell Williams was from. And he did all of those snuff films and the murders and supposedly drove the queen around, flew her around when she was in, in the country. So everything's done on numbers. And why this matters to me, I was just watching a, a video. I, I, it doesn't matter where I learn from. I, I'm open to learning. It's the truth that I want. So I'm watching a video uh, last night. Miles Johnson from the Basis Project was interviewing a woman named Sophia. She was trafficked at a young age, spent time in Ontario, talked about Lake Ontario. And I'm just, certain things are just going ding, ding, ding for me. And I'm just casually listening to her. And then she started talking about what's happening in the gravel, the gravel pits. So what she's saying is we're getting rid of the, the liquid leftovers from sacrifices, put it that way. She says they're burying it into the into the um, gravel pits and they're crushing it all up and then selling that gravel. Well, I'm sitting here and I, I'm almost dumbfounded because somebody who just did some independent research has just come out and said, there's a correlation between gravel pits. Have you noticed gravel pits are beside veterinarian clinics? which are beside crematoriums and golf courses. And he went through, I'm gonna to speak to him this week and find out how many of these he found in Ontario. Are these put on ley lines and energy points to create negative energy? So we're, going, we're trying to make the changes in ourselves as humans. We're trying to bring, step up our game, but there's people who are doing such horrible things to the earth energies mm -hmm. that is this possible? I don't know, right? Like I just, at what point do we stop and realize that, no, no, we need to look after mother earth, but better than clean up the water and better than taking the uh, fertilizers off the land and things like that. We really need to understand how this game is being played. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, I don't know everybody that you interview, but I bet somebody that you know, understands ley lines that could look at that map and be able to say, boom, 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 and put like four or five pieces together for us and what this is happening, why this is happening. I, um, I was out in Vancouver, I don't know, a number of years ago, and I was in Stanley Park going along the seawall and there was a fellow there and he was carving out a soapstone. So I stopped and I you know, talked to him and uh, I purchased one of his pieces and uh, it's an owl, believe it or not. I live on owl, like, I live on a cross section, one of them's Owl Street. So it's really funny how the owls kept coming up and he was First Nations and worked in Manitoba at Hydro. And he said, do you know how many um, First Nation sites that they built churches. Now they're tearing the churches down and putting synagogues on. Everybody knows all of this stuff but us. So there's certain energies on the planet we don't understand about that correlate. Like how many of those planets correlate with our own organs? There's things that are happening in the cosmos we don't understand that affects how, how the energies come onto the planet and what we're going to do. And I'm not saying I'm not saying we're dumb, but we, we're uneducated. We don't, I don't think we know probably 10 or 20 percent of what is true. I agree with that. Right. I, I think that we are we are far less than what we can actually, you know, what our abilities are. I think we have much more to what we know, but we, it's not our fault. I and mean, we're all we're all in the same boat I and we've so. been we, we've been really suppressed by society. But it's all going to come out now. And this is why Mr. T is very important, because he's in he's in. It's important that we do the job as well. And we have the love frequency and we move forward and 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 we speak the truth is very important but I, at the same time i think it's very important that we have uh, mr t in a position that can place laws and cast people away um and create a new world and i and i think we need a balance of that and uh, this is part of the evolution that we're going into mm -hmm. at, 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 you know in the history of humanity and we're about to we're witnessing history and it's huge, very, very huge. This is incredible. And this is what I think we're here to do, to wake up to this level. And yes, we're watching what's going on in the medical community. And it's, I think that a lot of that is a distraction. People have to make up their own minds of what they're going to do. But I'm going to say this about psychopaths, just as I don't think they knew everything that was going to come down after November 3rd and January 6th. I don't think they knew everything that was going to happen because they underestimated the evil in some ways, not out of judgment. Mm -hmm. So we know when he comes back and a few things are going to happen, there's going to be a few more stunts that get pulled. There's no way psychopaths are going to lie down and go, you want, that's just not what they do. No, they're okay. going to keep, they can, they're going to be, a, they, they would be in, in prison and carry on to fighting. <laughs> but they're going to have people at every level 
that are ready to take their place. That's how psychopaths work. It's an energy. So I don't but, think it's just a few people. I think they're, they've got um, trainees in waiting and it doesn't mean they're going to succeed. But, we're but you know what? You, you know what drives them? Ego and ego comes from the devil. It's just ego. It's they greed. won't stop. It's greed. Uh, they, you know, entitlement. I think it's quite embarrassing for them. Uh, it's going to be when they find out. But here's the thing: when you when you point out just when you tell a psychopath they're psychopath, you got about half a second to watch their eyes to know if they're going to kill you or not. It's not personal. <laughs> you got to learn to say fact. sorry real quick. And I'm not I'm not I'm not going to go into how I know that. But it, I've had it happen before where I just saw somebody look at me and I thought they're going to kill me. And it's like, just kidding. <laughs> so that that being a, that's actually, you know, you know, people like you know, who, who are very much into um, astral projection and they see things and, totally. you know, um, they're, they're, they're very into their intuition and they they call those people, the deep state want to call those people in the medical um, area um, that they're not well and they need help. But it's actually the deep state who are psychopaths that totally. need help. Totally, they it's need reversed. Help. Yeah. So there's the war, the, the war, when we talk about going into back into our hearts, I'm of the impression that the darkness knows who has hearts and who does not. They know who the light is and how brightly they shine or not. That's the impression that I'm under from what I can see. And they do know who it is. So they don't want any attention brought to them. They have Jupiter's delight, but they also have a, an arrogant, grandiose impression of themselves. So if you're gonna take that image down, you better have backup. Like you, if T wasn't T and didn't have the financial resources he had and couldn't put his own private security in place, he would have been gone a long time ago. They don't think, anything that stands for good and love and light and fairness and truth and honor and and bringing you up to your highest good. Cabal wants nothing to do with that. Can you can you see how his life was planned perfectly for what he's doing now? Like you said, if he didn't have the the resources or the finances. He wouldn't be able to fund half of the things and he's losing billions from right. fr from doing this and he's still very good i mean if he wanted he could have his own secret services that's how good he is and i agree and i, I think i think everything's playing out the way it's supposed to play out and i'm not doubting what they're doing at all i, I think it's fantastic and i do think we've got a better curriculum that comes in with the true physics the cr true mathematics the true english the true grammar how contract law works i think they're going to they're going to come out they, they're not just going to come out and say we're taking certain people out of the picture and then say you guys fend for yourself and i'm not deferring any responsibility to them and not to myself when i say that mm -hmm. i'm just saying i think we got more of a tailwind coming here than we think especially when i'm looking at the planetary alignment and um do you know the james bond um the series james bond right where he always orders a martini and they say and how would you like your martini mr bond shaken or stirred this summer's come and shake in. There's no stirred about it. You're getting, we're going to all be shaking to our foundations, I believe, as all these changes come in. And you're going to be fighting. We're going to be fighting about, with people who don't want the change to happen, even though they, they can't grasp that there's something positive coming. They can't handle the change. It doesn't matter. You can try to talk to them. You can say, hey, it's going to be okay. Maybe reassure them. Maybe keep doing videos about things that say, hey, guess what? Yeah, the financial market is doing this, but this is, I also see this, this, and this is good about the changes. So we're going to go into that. We're going to go into, we're watching it fall down right now, but we're also going to go into, as it shifts, we're going to roll with the wave and come into the very positives of what we see. And I'm going to use an example. What makes people healthy? Proper food, clean water, um, being able to, to clear out any kind of a, um, an illness that you've got, understanding the use of chiropractic, understanding the use of energy work, massage, all those things. So why aren't those taxable um, that if you get one of those treatments that you either get a tax credit with your government or you end up getting, um, comes off your income tax, there's a certain percentage. So right now you get 3% of your medical in Canada based on something which comes out to a couple hundred dollars, it's not much. So why aren't we looking at the wellness? So we've got opportunity for new careers in areas that make more sense than the old allopathic medicine and, and things along that line. So we've got all kinds of opportunities to come in and say, hey, why aren't we giving people incentives for going to the gym? So the LC liquor store is open, the beer store is open, the gyms are closed. You can go and get a donut and a job, <laughs> but you can't go on a treadmill for 20 minutes. Do you know well, because it doesn't, everything they do, they're, they're, they're funding, I'm not, I want to be careful with my choice of words, but they're funding um, the, uh, the uh, health industry. 
Totally. <laughs> if that wasn't too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they want um, people who aren't well make money for, for certain people and not others, right? So that's, that's where all, I think a lot of this is gonna go, that it's gonna change. And I'm very optimistic that it's gonna happen. And like I said, when I woke up one day this week and just thought, they're not gonna not have a curriculum that tells us what the true sciences are. Either, either, they're not just gonna come up with some things and leave yeah. us high and dry. So then we can shift in and say, well, where do we wanna jump in and help with this? Do we wanna do research on the real Sumerian tablets? You know, there's so many, I, I'm not putting anybody down. There's so many people who've come out with things and then so many people try to just, dismiss what people say and things along that line it doesn't matter we're not going to know what's true until we are actually given the actual truth and who knows if that when that's going to be but i think it's the change be, yeah sorry so the changes that are coming I, I think are going to be fantastic but they're also going to be changes that we have to um, seize the opportunities so we're yes. going to see it we're going to sow our seeds and say yeah we're ready for something better yes we know it's going to be rocky yes we know these things are happening but we also want a, a world where people can grow up and not be uh, interfered with so it's kind of funny right now i'm watching the energies every once in a while i'll get a twitch on my skin and i'm like what is that so i think the consciousness is already coming in i don't have the implants anymore have you noticed <laughs> I always scratch the what back. What was that? <laughs> you know the back when I. I know you always do that. So did you move that out on your own? I didn't. I didn't do anything. I. I just. I don't know. I think. Uh, I don't know. Do I don't it, know. You can do it with your mind. I got it that it was your AI talking. Your A with I was trying to stop you, because what's an example of? Um, okay, so a friend of mine, she has a YouTube channel, and she she couldn't get any traction. She didn't get any more followers for like three months. She says something to me on, on a, I don't know if it was Zoom or whatever, whatever it was we're talking on. Next thing you know, she's up 30 or 40. So AI is listening, good and bad. So I wasn't sure if you told it to get out. So this is what I'm talking about, about consciousness. You can cast out the darkness. You can cast out the darkness in the AI and say, you're not welcome here. So I was wondering if you cast that out because it didn't, it didn't come up as anything negative, but something was definitely trying to... And I think if you have a love for vibration and you just get in the habit of, you know, like, look, if you want a good body, you have to eat healthy and you have to, you know, exercise and you've got to drink water, lots of water, and you've got to do it every day. Okay. It's a lifestyle. Now, yes. if, if you want to be happy and you want peace, it's the same thing. You know, you need to love people. You need to respect people. You need to uh, love yourself too. Um, you forgive yourself. Um, learn and and this is a lifestyle and I think the more I'm learning this and I'm practicing this all the time and, and um, I, I try not to judge people as well that's another thing so I, I don't want to judge people because I know it sounds you know it, it's not much the ego that because of the ego it's more because it um, judging people reduce it you know lowers the frequency so if we take out all of these things, we, we lift the, the frequency. So maybe that's why maybe I'm not, you know, I'm feeling better. I don't know. So, so I appreciate where you're at. And I, I work with a lot of people. I'm going to call them wounded warriors. I work with people who've already been hit with psychic attack. Mm -hmm. Maybe they had it in their childhood. So think of that. They say, what, 25% of girls and 15% of boys have experienced child abuse. That's 40% of the population. So I'm grateful where you are at. And I'm so glad that you're helping so many people. There's no right or wrong. And you don't take a knee for people who are wounded and reduce your frequency so that they feel better. You keep doing your thing and just trust that you're doing the right thing. But some of the wounded warriors, they've got psychic attack in them. And I've been spending a lot of time recently cleaning things out where people, they feel it right here that somebody's got them by the scruff of the neck. And I think sometimes some of the alien energies, it comes in right to the where the spine and the skull uh, meet there. So, so what happens for the people who've experienced psychic attack? And I've gone through that. And sometimes people look at intentions. You have positive intentions for everybody. You're going to keep your vibration up. And I don't see anything coming at you. I, I don't see anything like that. And I always put protection when I do any kind of, any kind of an interview or, or even on my own videos, I put protection all around too. And I know Betty does the same. Look, we just have a certain etiquette that we have. But what about the people who've already been hurt, the wounded warriors who say, hey, this is how this works. I know people who've worked in corrections and been wounded just because they've seen so many awful things. 
So no judgment, but you have to go in sometimes and look into their field and see where that hook is. So a friend of mine, a family member accused her of something and went for her heart. And as I'm talking mm -hmm. to her, I go, she also stuck a knife in your back. Mm -hmm. So look at the what? intentions of people. Look at the intentions of the people working at FEMA. <laughs> You're a civilian. What do you need to know? This is, you don't get a say in this. That's an ill intention. That's a collective psychic attack. So you also have to see how these work and pull them out. Mm -hmm. Yours wasn't a bad one either. How do you know you didn't put an implant in a past life that says you need to activate it for this lifetime? Because I said I, I can help you remove it, but I never really felt pulled to do that. Mm -hmm. So do you know what Max Spears says? He did the same thing, right? That he uh, put implants in his body from past lifetimes to activate this lifetime. And it's like, that's maybe why I don't pull out everybody's implants. You got to ask, is it benevolent or maleficent, right? So there's so much that we don't know about these other states of consciousness, and there's no reason to go there. If, if when the awareness comes up for people, it's going to come up. But if there's ill intention, somebody has ill intentions for people, they mm -hmm. can. That's all it takes to send a psychic attack to somebody. Absolutely. And this is what we don't know, right? So I think it's fantastic. You're at where you're at. I think there's other people who can dive deep into. I'm going to say darkness for lack of a better word. And I've worked with demons and people are like, why do you do that? And it's like, well, how do you know how they operate if you don't know what, how, if you don't know them? Right. If I didn't know what demons didn't look like, I wouldn't know how animation worked on the TV series when they do South Park and all of those. And oh, right. So now my consciousness is you're creating my consciousness because I'm watching your show. So you're harvesting my energy. How do we know how the darkness works and, mm -hmm. and to avoid it if we, we have don't to go there sometime? Yeah, we have to educate ourselves and be aware totally. to the point where we can protect, we use it to protect ourselves. Right, so each other education. and make sure it doesn't happen to anybody else. Exactly. So it's good to understand the playbook, if you like, of the right. demon. You and know. I, and the, so a lot of these energies are leaving. So I think they put parasites in the ley lines and I'm starting to see there's not as many parasites in the ley lines. Mm -hmm. So they've, they've gone and tried to booby trap every aspect of life on earth. We need Gaia, that's who our contract is with, but they've tried to booby trap all around to control. And when you, but I, I, I'm not seeing as many, I shouldn't say that I'm seeing it. I'll see a lot in one person, but I'm not seeing as many people that I had to clear um, attacks out of or cords or triggers because we're heartfelt energetic people so they send it to you energetically mm, mm. So yeah, I, I know what you mean but yeah. I, I think that if you if you are um you know you have you know you're conscious you know and you have a, a love frequency and you're strong in that um it's going to be very difficult to access you you know totally so that's the goal that's the goal for sure mm. it is nicholas 100 percent but I people believe... who've been hurt can't, uh, they have trouble getting there. And I have people who've, um, they've been hurt. And then because maybe they didn't have great boundaries, they trans transgressed on somebody else's boundaries. And then they feel guilty about that. Anybody feeling guilt and shame for stuff that you didn't understand of maybe in childhood and had bad things happen, just get, stop it. Just get through your shit. It doesn't matter anymore. It's just something that happened to you, but you still have to clear it so that you can get into the love frequency and get on with your game. Right. We, we, we hold on to these stories sometimes and it's like, seriously, you know Absolutely. what I mean? And, and it doesn't mean you don't have compassion for them, but you, you have compassion, but not not sympathy. I'm not going to feel sorry for anybody because of what you've been through, been through, but I'll show you how to get your life back. Absolutely. It's moving forward and upward, right, to, to exactly what you're describing. But how, what's the percentage of the population who haven't been uh, hurt in some way or another? I'd say maybe 20 percent. These are numbers that I've had thrown around. And maybe you had this much happen and maybe you had this much happen and it's irrelevant. Are you moving forward and you're going to clear it? Or are you going to stay stuck in your shit? Nobody mm -hmm. cares. And the people who are doing the hurting, they have to own their shit. And if they don't understand what makes a healthy person, we're going to show you. Doesn't that sound kind of like, I don't know, bossy pants, but it's not. It's about ownership and owning the choices. And if people don't understand what abusive behaviors are, I've got it all written out. I don't mind sharing it. And people can look at it and decide for themselves what type of an abuser they are. Absolutely. Is people need to, you know, well, if they want to, they have to want to as well. That's, you know, we, you know, they have to really want to, um, if they want to change, you know. Do you know what's um, interesting? I was um I did a presentation for a private group and, and in the Q and A, the fellow one fellow said something about oh uh, forgive and forget, and I said no, and I explained what we had said about you know not being uh, God, not having uh, Alzheimer's, and he goes if you hurt me, he goes it's my soul's job to forgive you, and I said why isn't it my soul's job to apologize for what I did to you if I hurt you and financially, physically, emotionally, whatever? Why is it not my soul's job to apologize? 
And he looked at me, he goes, well, the narcissist will never go for that. That was his, look. so this is where we're breaking down more programs. And I said, has it crossed anybody's mind that it's the narcissist who kept said the narcissist can't change? Mm -hmm. Don't give them an option, change or don't. Should or get off the pot kind of thing. If you're not gonna change, then you go play with the other narcissist. We're not playing with you because we can see now. Something that came up for me big time this week, I, uh, somebody had approached me about something and I wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not. And then all of a sudden the intention flashed in my eye, like right here. And I knew their intention was not my best interest. Right. We're starting to see these and not get into the bad relationships in the first place instead of trying to get out of a crappy situation. So this is part of our emotional evolution. We're starting to sit there and be a little more discerning and not jump in right away if somebody likes you maybe make sure you like them too before just assuming oh i'm so fortunate that i got chosen for this position you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i know a, a woman um i quite enjoy her she works with um a defense contract um which one i know it's, uh, raytheon right so she got over she got uh, over overlooked for a couple positions and then she described the people that got put into those positions and i said has it crossed your mind that they wanted stupid people in those positions because they really don't want the staff knowing what they're really doing in there and she looked at me she goes you're the second person to say this william cooper's book he's talking about a factory this person these people worked in and they were uh making baby carriages but nobody was allowed to have a baby carriage. They had made them, nobody could buy them, whatever country this was in. He went and got one piece of every part of this to make a baby carriage. And you know what he says to God, the story in here? A machine gun. So just because they told you you're making a baby carriage doesn't mean that's what you're making. So just Absolutely, because somebody yeah. says, oh, you know, we're, you're not good enough for this job, doesn't mean it's not true. It's just, they have another agenda. So we're starting yeah. to really question the agendas is where I'm going. With this, we're starting to see when people ask you for something like, no, your intentions aren't for me, they're for you, and that's okay. I choose not to engage. So it's easier not to get into those dysfunctional situations, whether it's employment, government, doesn't matter who it is, than to get in and get out. So we're in it now. We're all in the thick of it trying to get out from suppression by a regime who wants to keep us controlled. Anybody who says where you can go, what time of day you can go out, who you can spend time with, how much time you can spend, where you can spend your money, how much how much money you get to spend. If that was in a family environment, you'd call that domestic violence. You'd call that an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But it's happening well, on the larger and we call it, oh, they've got our back. <laughs> so we wonder, we wonder why people defend their abusers. It's like many people are Stockholmed right now. Mm, right. Absolutely. That's what I'm seeing anyways, that a lot of that is. No, definitely. But Sandy, listen, it's been absolutely amazing having you on again. We are running out of time. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to the listeners before we finish? We have a lot of um, a lot of new things to look at, but maybe it's time that we breathe life back into love, life itself and liberty and start really focusing on our breathing because that's what brings us closer to that God spark to the uh, creator energy. Focus on breathing love and life back into everything that we want um make a list if you're not sure about how how deserving you are this is betty's suggestion at another time make a list of everything you deserve in this world mm -hmm. this is an excellent idea because we say well this is what i want okay you might want a trip to the moon but chances are you're not going to get it but what do you deserve and really start empowering yourself that you know you are worthy of having great things in this world and step into the energy if you know of being willing be willing to be the change, be willing to step in. Know if it's your time this summer, that it's time to sow your seeds and get out there. Somebody needs to see what you have to say. Somebody's gonna get something. Look at that one video where she talked about gravel pits and I'm going ding, ding, ding. And now I need somebody who knows about earth energies who I trust, it wouldn't be somebody probably in a university, but that, that they can explain something to me that I can listen to it. And I'll discern if I believe it or not. But we have so much more to be able to connect to Gaia because we have to connect consciousness and earth under our feet. So, and we've got this. So, good luck. Absolutely, <laughs> we've got this. Nothing can stop what's coming. And um, Sandy, thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, until again, we'll speak again. And uh, God bless you. Yes, you too. Thank you, everybody. Have bye -bye. fun. <laughs>